I'm not going to start this episode with so. I'm so, proud of you. But I will say this. It's, I'm having this very, like, you know, I have that feeling you're like something bad's about to happen. Yeah. Yeah, you know? yeah. So a five-year, $30 million deal roughly is what Micah Hyde signed when he signed with the Buffalo Bills. Right. Four years, $13 million was Jordan Poyer. Big difference, right? He's in the last yeah. year of his deal. He's sure. making peanuts. Mm-hmm. What's the chances that he holds out? so excited to talk about this i'm distinguished for those of you who are looking to win autographed bills merch hit up the that's sabers oh oh yeah 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 yeah. it's an autographed trey white goalie academy helmet (laughs) touche (laughs) but i don't know how to do promos (laughs) go down into the description there's a link to enter for the autographed trey white goalie academy uh goalie helmet go down get into there's only a few days left uh, the winning, or the winner is going to be drawn uh, the day of the Pro Bowl at yep. kickoff. So get in now. The only thing you're only ever going to see this once. It's a one of a kind item. The Bills are not making this. The Sabers are not making this. Trey White had never seen one when he had him sign it before. So this is a unique item. You want to get your hands on it? Go enter now. It's free to enter. The last Bills holdout I can remember, and I'm probably wrong on this, but the last one that I significantly remember was a draft pick. That's how long it was ago that a Bills player held out. The last Bills holdout that I can remember. God, I can't. Was it Bruce? No, 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 no. Aaron Maben's the last holdout that I remember because back then rookies would hold out forever because there was no guaranteed rookie contract. I don't remember another Bills player holding out. I mean, I'm sure I'm wrong on that, but it's this is not a common occurrence. No, you talk about a guy because they usually get what they want at this point. You know, they're well, getting no, their guaranteed yeah. money up front. Uh, he got $13 million, I believe six was in guarantees. But you Jeez. want to talk about the production that the kid has had for three years now. Oh, yeah. Uh, Buffalo Bills were, were first against the pass last year, I think fourth this year. Or vice versa, one of those two. But they were top five. He's a big part of that. When Milano went down, he filled the role for you of the will linebacker. Right. He's had over 100 tackles the last two seasons. Yeah. Uh, Going to be 29. Mm-hmm. I think that's a big deal. Well, if it, you extend him, it's only two more years. Yeah. I, can you extend Poyer and be okay? I think you, if you extended Poyer another two years, you'd be okay. But you're going to have to pay him. You're going to have to run in two years what you paid him in four <laughs> to start. You look at some, uh, I look at some of the uh, current safeties that are getting paid right now. Now, if he holds out, former seventh round pick of the Eagles, by the way, mm-hmm. I checked it out. Yeah, it's funny because we talk about how he came from Cleveland, and he did, but he, Buffalo yeah. is not his his second team. No, no, and I thought he was with Philly when the, when the McDermott was there. He actually wasn't. No, he wasn't. But <clears throat> that all intertwined. You talked about you we're talking about Jordan Poyer, who everyone talks about Poyer like it's almost like Magic and Bird. You can't talk about Poyer without talking about Hyde. So, in and of himself, do people feel that he would be as productive by himself well, if he holds out? Because if he holds out, now, you may have the information on this. What's the If he holds out and he doesn't get paid, can he just sit out the year but he won't get paid? Right. How's that work? Yeah, so if a player holds out, um, it's kind of like the Le'Veon Bell situation. Remember when Bell yes. sat out and never showed up for his franchise tag? Gotcha. Yeah. So it's the same thing where the contract will toll, uh, meaning that if he holds out and just doesn't come to work, then the Bills would still retain his rights next year. Okay. So he has no he has no leverage here. Yes. Right? Like, that's the thing. You, you have no leverage. So what are you going to do to solve for that? Well, you show up and play. That's the intent. But at 29 years old, he's going to be entering free agency at 30. I mean, I'm pretty sure that he's he's going to be turning 29 by the time the season starts. Right, but that's what um, I mean. He'll be entering the season next year at 30. I mean, yeah, that's, it's Le'Veon Bell. He's going to be he was going to be 26. So right. it's a very different situation. Well, and I think you bring up an interesting point. You say, well, you know, you can't talk about Jordan Poyer without Micah Hyde. What would Jordan Poyer be without Micah Hyde? 
kind of a testament to those two players that they maintained health the last two seasons because exactly. we don't know yeah, we what no one idea. would be like with the other. We really don't. Yeah. I mean, we've seen Hyde leave a game banged up. We've seen Poyer leave a game banged Who up. plays, though? Right, but we're not talking. Exactly. There's no long term. We never have to see a two-game stretch where one was without the other. And here's the craziest part. The foreshadowing of Bean, whether or not either by injury, by age, or just by this contract, Drafting Jaquan Johnson. Yep. He played in the playoff game. He played in the playoff game. He came in. He has experience now. Mm-hmm. But does he play? Can he play the role that you were asking Poyer to play? Because Poyer's role was changing throughout the year, right? You saw Poyer come down in the he, box. He's very versatile. He, he is very versatile. versatile. But we talked about Jaquan Johnson when he was drafted. That this is a guy who's going to play that strong safety role well for you if you want somebody to come down. <laughs> Big nickel. <laughs> Brett uh, was like, I'm sorry, what was that? <laughs> Small dime? Big nickel? I don't know the difference. It doesn't matter. Uh, they take out a linebacker and they put it in a corner. That's it? Who cares? <laughs> Are you talking about the Brett Favre that was, that was coached by Brian Dable in, in 2008 for the Jets? Sorry, continue. <laughs> it's low-hanging fruit. Not right. today, Satan! <laughs> the, I, I hear what you're saying, right? Mm-hmm. And we and again, Jaquan Johnson. We the Bills drafted him because he can support in the run. If you were to need that role, right? Yeah. Okay. Hundred tackles. Yes, you need that role. I think that's I think that's where where I'm going with this, right? Yeah, yeah. So how replaceable is Poyer compared to Jaquan Johnson? Is Micah Hyde such a leader that Jordan Poyer is a product of Micah Hyde? We don't know again because they came in at the same time. When we talk about communication in that role being paramount, you got to be able to communicate. But who is really the lead dog there? Micah Hyde appears to be, from a media standpoint, right? Uh, Jordan's production on the field has been solid, yeah. right? But how replaceable is he? And you're, you're going to have to seriously have this conversation because safeties can play forever, but normally you don't have two safeties play together yeah. forever. Yeah, and, and, the, and the progression, we talked about it from the offensive side of the ball. When you're drafted or you're a tackle, some of the ways they extend your career is they move you inside to the guard. Mm-hmm. If you're a corner... Sometimes, because you've played so long and you have such a high IQ of the game, they move you to safety. If you're already at safety, I guess you can play there a while. Does the contract or the position make Poyer that replaceable? And here's, here's what I mean by this. You signed Hyde because you, you think the production and the responsibility of the player. So Hyde's going to be quarterbacking everything back there. Poyer is the guy... Is he just a gear you put in? Four years, $13 million. We can get another right. gear and put that in there for that guy. Uh, removing the emotion of it, because I think everyone in Buffalo is attached to oh, Jordan yeah, Poyer yeah. at this point. Yeah. I mean, he's a, he's a tough-nosed guy. He he, he, uh, he does, a, like you said, he's very versatile. He does a lot of things for your team. Back-to-back 100-tackle yard, hundred tackle seasons for a safety is almost unheard of at this right. point. But it's a lot of mileage. It is. Uh, for a guy who's nearing 30. Mm-hmm. He did have some plays this year that were very questionable mm-hmm. uh, that went on, more notably the Baltimore game. And I'm not going to discount what the guy did for the entire season just for one play. But right. I think I think that's fair to bring up. It's, yeah, it's yeah. a fair thing to bring up. But you got all this stuff. Because of the contract they gave him, is that a replaceable role that they could find it? Somebody. So let me ask you this, right? You signed Jordan Poyer. You buy out the last year of this deal. Of right? course. I mean, so it's you, like $4 million. Right. So you buy out the last year of this deal. You sign him two for 13. Let's just say you bring him back. You re-sign him on a two-year extension, what you paid him the last three seasons in total, right? So you go two for 13. You buy out this last season. You restructure it. So now it's two. It's a six and a half a year. Let's right? so just make the math easy. Well, why right? don't we do what you said with Jordan Phillips? Guarantee all of it the first year. That's what I mean. Why do you, you're not you're not cutting them the first exactly. year. Exactly. You're not gonna cut him the first year. So um, if you're gonna sign Poyer to an extension, if he gets hurt, if he's if he's ineffective, or Jaquan Johnson outplays him, you're only talking about six and a half million dollars. I mean, we're not talking the world here. We've traded players at a bigger cap hit than that. We traded Marcel Darius, it cost us twenty million to get rid of him. Right? I mean I don't think this organization is afraid of... I'm sorry, I brought up the big man. You okay? I know. Not that I like him. It's just, it's just a painful... I know. Memory. To remember it's it, that it costs us $20 million to get rid of him? Oh, yeah, that one hurt. Um, I'm a drag racing? No. 
Sorry. <laughs> Preferably not in a <laughs> Nissan. <laughs> Marcel. Uh, Marcel. Oh, yeah. In a sailor hat. <laughs> that freaking that sailor, freaking hat. sailor hat. <laughs> The bloated Popeye. Anyway, so it... In the scheme of financials, right? Not and nobody, not a lot of people like to talk about financials, but it's a major player in the game. If you're going to roll into Jordan a six and a half million dollar Jordan Poyer this year, who cares, mm. right? I mean, you, you're. I don't think you're going to be paying for production that he's not going to give you at six and a half a year, <clears throat> right? And I think that's where I get with contract extensions is okay. When this contract is at its end, how productive will this player be? I still think the next two years, you're still fine. You give Poirier an extension for two years. You basically give him the contract he just had, but only you're giving it to him in two years instead of three. I think he'd be fine with that. Shows up, gets a bunch of money in a signing bonus, probably gets eight mil in a signing bonus, plus his base salary. I think he's a happy man. Shows up, makes you know, $10, $11 million this year for just being the player that he was. He feels like he's getting paid for what he already produced. You know you're paying him for what he's still going to give you. Everybody's happy. But at six and a half, I don't think it's that big a deal. Just no, it's not. The, I don't think he'd take two it, year, You don't think he'd sign two for 14? Number one, 15? I don't think Bean will do it. <clears throat> and here's why. You overlap the contracts for a reason. You sign Poirier to four, Hyde to five, because you didn't want him overlapping. That's that's true, because if you sign Poirier to an extension, now he's going to be living the same life as Micah Hyde. Now you're going to have to pull that trigger sooner or later. Number two, that's what, what are rookie deals always... How long are rookie deals? Oh, Jaquan Johnson's four years. Four years. <clears throat> now, you drafted him yeah. this year. Right. So you had three years, and then you overlapped it. Bring your guy in, let him learn for a year, and then if that guy... Other, you'll have two years under right, his belt he was with hurt, Poyer. But he was hurt. No, I understand he was hurt. That doesn't mean that he did, he's not He's not going to know anything. Right. But that was two years under Poyer in this defense. At the end of next year, I'm talking about Jaquan right. Johnson. You're gonna have two, he's going to have two years in this defense. Possibly playing a lot more next year because mm-hmm. he's going to have to if they don't think about resigning Poyer. Right. Plus, if they extend Poyer for another year or two years, that overlaps Hyde. Now Hyde's going to want him. So do you just re- do you just restructure Poyer and give him you know give, him, give, a him, ro- and give him a roster bonus? Restructure it at a roster bonus. Restructure it, roster. Extend him one more year, so it puts him at thirty. But that's what I was just but, saying to do. But Gary, oh, I thought you were talking about two more years. No, no, no. You buy out his current year because he's not going to show well, that's up. that's the two years I was that's, thinking yeah. about. That. I thought you were saying he, he – so he'll be with the Bills for six years, not yeah, totally. four. No, no, no. He'd be with the Bills for five, five. years. Okay, okay. Yeah. But that's why I think it puts you in that bind because you're – Hyde are already on the same path. Yeah. yeah, that's – yeah, you're right. That's, that's actually – that's, that's fascinating. Um, uh, guys, we don't know what to do. What do you guys do? 